Hello friends, I hope you are doing well. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to animate a travel map using Keynote. My name is Mudasi Hussain and welcome to my channel Living Image. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. I publish weekly tutorials on photography, editing and tech. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started. So friends, first we are going to take a screenshot of uh, the map we are going to um, use for the animation. So to do that, I am uh, taking the screenshot of the Google map. You can find your own. And there are other resources available online. You can, you can get uh, free maps according to your preference. So I'm going to take um, the screenshot of this map. So if you use Mac then hold command and sh shift key and then press 4 to take the screenshot and then just select the area right I've got the screenshot so you don't need that anymore here it is now we are going to open the keynote application here you can choose the location where you want to save the uh, file um, so I'm going to save this file on the desktop and then click on new document you can go with any of this um, theme it doesn't really matter because we are not going to um, use any of the text or anything so just double click on that I'm going to remove all these tags because we don't need them and then we go to document here because we have to check a few things first uh, make sure that the presentation type is selected as normal you can also check this uh, slide settings but uh, we don't need anything to set here right now and then also you make sure that the slide size is selected as widescreen 16 9 16 by 9 so that is something um, I would recommend or you can go with this 1920 by 1080. I recommend that as well um, because that will actually be matched with the most of the video format because this is the dimension we normally use when we edit the videos. So hit OK. Right, so now we are going to import the screenshot we have taken earlier. To do that we go to media menu here and then choose the location here it is insert I'm going to zoom in so that we can see whole thing uh, so now we have to adjust the image I mean the scale Okay, I think we are fine now. I'm zooming out. Okay, so now I'm going to do some work here. Uh, first, we are going to add a few elements, but before going into that, I would like to tell you that let's say I want to travel from here to there somewhere. So we need to draw a line from here to here. At the same time, I also want to add like the, the location pin like here a bit bigger and that will pop up like that will drop here this kind of animation will probably um, watch a lot so yeah so the location pin will appear here I mean drop in this location uh, and it will be the same where we will be ending our traveling and then the line will be drawn accordingly 
so to do that first we are going to um, draw the line and then we are going to add the location pins so to do that go to the shape menu here and then pick the pen tool and you can read the instruction here but I'm going to tell you later anyway so now we are going to draw the line so let's say we are going to start traveling from here you can spend time drawing the line I'm just showing you randomly you can always adjust with these points actually Okay, so it probably the line is not um, totally visible it's because white is selected as uh, stroke color we are going to um, change it soon and also will be increasing the uh, line width as well okay so to end drawing line you just have to double click on the point and then hit return or enter okay the line is selected now we can work on that select this line and then go to format so here we are going to change the um, format like simple line uh, it's probably not the um, great for animation so what we'll be doing we are going to use these dot lines like there will be dots um, appearing one by one and it will be tracking uh, as we draw as we have drawn the line so that would rather be better so I am selecting this and then uh, we are going to change the stroke color it's rather better to use a red color in there I guess so we are going with red color and then I'm going to increase the um, uh, line width let's say 13, 13. yeah and then we have to select the start and end points um, so for that we are going to go with this round like the ball at the beginning and uh, that would rather be better at the end as well so i'm going to select the same for the end point as well there it is okay and then we can um, add shadow in there and i think it will be uh, rather nice to add shadows otherwise it looks a bit raw so um, we are going to use this shadow and drop shadow so now it looks better I think and then you can play with this blur offset opacity and you also can add reflection which I'm not going to add I'm just showing you okay I think we are done here now we are going to add the location pins to do that go to the shape menu here again and then search location pin here it is and then we are going to place it over here but before that we are going to decrease the size of it a bit and then we are placing it over here and also we are going to change the color and I think green would be better for this yeah let's go with green all right but you can go with the color you like and then we are going to copy this and paste and then we are going to place it to the end point as well right so now select this and go to format and we can add caption if we want so just to show you I'm writing something like let's change the color or we can go with that we will do the same thing for this as well
change the color. All right, I think we are fine. Now I am zooming out the image so that we can see everything. Right, so now we are going to animate all this. So our first element is map. So we'll have to animate the map first. So to do that, select the map and then go to the animate menu here and uh, make sure that built-in is selected because we don't need to use action and build out animation for this particular travel map animation. So, and then um, go to add an effect. From there, for this particular image, I would go with um, scale big, if you don't see it here. I have used them recently, so this is why they are appearing here. However, you can find them uh, whether here or in the middle or in the bottom. Um, so I'm going to go with scale big and I am going to increase the duration to 3 second to slow it let's say 2 second and 2 5 second that would probably be better let's have a look yeah okay so our second element is that little location pin and as I've mentioned we want it to um, drop here in this place to do that select it and then similarly go to animate menu and from the built-in and then add an effect so as I've mentioned I want it to be uh, dropped in that particular location to do that we are going to use the drop uh, animation um, here it is I can preview it yeah select it and I am going to decrease the duration to 0.4 second because it looks a bit slow but you can go with according to your preference and then we are going to select the line that's what we need to animate afterwards so similarly go to animate menu here and then add an effect so for that we are going to use line draw yeah it looks quite fast so we'll have to slow it down now the duration is two seconds we are going to increase it to five seconds and then we'll have to check this um, if you want that line to start from somewhere and finish then select start to end you can um, reverse it uh, so the line will appear and the end and will finish to the starting point too and you can start it from the middle as well and end it to the end point it's up to you and then we have acceleration options here you can select is in or out or you can select both is in and out um, so I'm going to go with it anyway and then yeah make sure that this is the third animation I'm going to go with it later we'll be checking it again after finishing all this animation right I think we are fine with it and then we have the fourth element that um, location pin uh, similarly we are going to add a drop animation for that and I'm going to decrease the duration to 4.4 second. Right, I think we are fine. Now we are going to check everything one by one. We have few elements here. So the first one is the screenshot. So make sure that the water is one. So the second element we used here is the location pin and make sure that the water is 2. And our third element is that um, the line we have drawn. So make sure that the water number is 3. And then it should be 4. Right. So 
I think we are set. Now let's play and check. I think it looks fine. Right, when you are done with all this editing, um, then go to file menu to export and then export to you have different options here but if you want to use this uh, animation with other videos then i think it's rather better to export as um, movie so here you have different options these options i would say keep it as it is but here by default you will find 1080p as a resolution but i would recommend to set custom um, 1920 by 1080 and then the frame rate which is important um, if you want to use this animation with other videos then uh, make sure that the video you are going to edit with you know the frame rate and uh, so let's say the video you are going to use with this animation it has been recorded or produced in uh, 30 frame per second then you can select 30 30 uh, frame per second here and if it, your video has been uh, produced with higher frame rates then you can select any of these available um, frame rate options so that you don't need to um, deal with um, further issues uh, when you edit them together if you set everything properly anyway so the last option we have here is that the compression type uh, this is standard h264 however um, if you know how to use then you can go with other available options too when you are happy hit next another thing is that um, you can also uh, export this as an animation gap to do that obviously you can go here and then you can change the resolution to extra large or medium whatever you, you prefer but there is a restriction you cannot produce animation grip with higher frame rates than 30 so this is the limitation so this is why i recommend you to export from here as Mobi. so when you are happy with the settings click next and i'm going to name it travel and hit export right so let's check it out how it looks Okay, so I think um, uh, the animation looks okay, but if you want to make it faster or to adjust with your video, you always can um, edit with this um, animation, but I think it's our purposes. So friends, I hope this tutorial will help you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.